finals. I guess it's been a year. I made a video on, over this race last year. That's crazy. Time run, I ran a 4.55 with a 7. Based on yesterday, the second run, I slowed down like 5,000. So I'm pretty confident it'll go a low 4.56 right here. I put a 56 on it. I knew I couldn't break out. All I had was about one above to the floor. I was 13 and took 20 something. Just did what I had to do. I think I'm gonna probably play it pretty conservative the rest of the day. If I can avoid the nasty packages, then I think it'll work out. In the lanes for round two, very similar to yesterday. Yesterday I went from like a 56.9 to a 55.5. So I picked up like almost one and a half. And I just went like a 57.1, two, something like that. So I definitely think I could go a mid to high 55 here again. like 770 and it just didn't sound good at all I already thought I crushed it for some reason so I bumped up twice I don't know why I'm bumping up twice when I'm set up like 11 off my fastest did a good job predicting the car I thought it'd go 55 I wasn't getting there at all and I was just like screw it I'm sending it and he broke out a little more than a hundredth he was 005 I was and I got the win round I thought it would go 55 put a 55 on it I ran a 455 with a one that was when it was starting to cool off then that third round right there it was like full-on dark and I thought it'd pick up again I, I dialed down to a 54 thought it could go a 54 I was racing at a car dialed 710 and it was on a 451 so I just picked up six hundredths in two runs right there it was on a 51 I was passing him up at the very end. I rammed the brakes as hard as I could. I killed over a hundred um, to go 452.8 on the 454. Broke out 12 thou, taking like six feet. Thought I killed enough, but I couldn't have ever known it would pick up that much. It's really good in the heat. It just picks up a crap ton when it gets cooler. Uh, I guess it's just way too rich. It's got a 1700 a APD carburetor on it. We have a 1250 APD. I think we're gonna try to put that on there. That's what happened last night. Uh, it cut off for some reason the video, like when I was under the tower. I don't know what goes on there. I think to fix that, I gotta pop the battery out. Today we got another bracket race Sunday. Dial for dollars, thought I'd go a 55. It went a 55.8 first run yesterday. It was a little bit earlier, conditions weren't as bad. So thought I'd go a lower 55, but it went a 55.8 again. It went up there for first round, drew a roadster out 491. I thought it'd go 456. I just put a 56 on it. Tree, but 
did a good job at the finish line. Scared of the breakout, so I made it pretty close and car slowed down. It didn't leave very good. I'm gonna have to see what happened there and check the race pack. I think I spun when I took off. Um, so it wasn't, I didn't kill too awful much, but so I was way above out the back and was fortunate he uh, was a little late. got to the mile per hour cone just to see what it would kill and it killed about three hundreds. Had a 59 on it with 59 with a four. So might keep that strategy going forward, try to learn a few things. And uh, there's not too many left. Let's see if we can make it happen. was 006 thought it was good added four to be 10 other guy was 20 and I couldn't catch him I ran it out car uh, had some problems down low and went a 58 on that 56 six of us left got a door car out 617 I put a 59 on it doesn't feel good down low it's probably going dead on if it feels good I'll probably go in like a 57 Pretty good. I tried to kill two hundreds, and it looks like it was going an eight, and I killed two hundreds to go like eleven thou over. I don't know what happened on the light on that one. To be completely honest with y'all, felt just like the one before when I bumped it up once. It felt even better, so I bumped it up twice. Fixing a load up. Not sure where we're headed out to next. It has been about one week. We're back here at Extreme. It's Sunday, doing some test and tune today. I'm in the same shirt. We're trying to get this thing right because confirmed, me and my dad are both gonna be racing at the OG Million. So make sure to watch out for us there. So we made some changes on the car last weekend at Extreme. It was rattling the tires a little bit. Changed the converter, hoping that will help. It had the FTI 93B in it. Now it's got an Abruzzi and we added the timing back. We had taken it out in Montgomery to like 32 degrees of timing. Now it's got 34. video.